There is a whole a world of occultism that is operating today throughout the world in which you use certain words and when those words are used in a court, they don't mean the same thing at all. Now this is something I want you to understand. And you need to listen carefully because this is profoundly important. Most people have never heard this and, I, and, and don't even understand what I'm trying to say. So try and follow what I'm going to tell you. Now on the back of the Social Security card will be numbers in red. On the front will be in blue or black, but on the back will be in red. The numbers on the back of a Social Security card in red designate your body. It is the serial number of your stock. And this is why if you're wealthy, you are, per you are preferred stock. If you're poor, you are common stock. But you are a stock on the stock market. Your body is bought and sold through the use of your birth certificate. This is why when you were born, you have to have a birth certificate. Therefore, your birth certificate is signed by your mother. And where your mother signed on the birth certificate, get it, you will see it does not say parent or mother. It says informant. You need to wake up and find out how this stuff really works. After the, after the change of the century, coming into 1900s decided they wanted to expand. They got they got so much money and they're doing so well. They thought maybe we could expand the business, move the corporation out a little bit. Let's let's expand business. Let's go to Germany or Europe <clears throat> and open up a big corporation there and take in their corporation, their their government. We'll take them over. And the Germans said, Hey, Jack, you know it's like a mafia. What are you coming over here? You're gonna you're gonna buy me? I'll buy you. You don't buy me. <laughs> like the Godfather movie. And the American corporation, British American corporation said, uh, unfortunately, maybe you didn't understand. Let me, let me restate it so you understand. I didn't ask you. I'm telling you. We're moving in here. It's called a corporate takeover. And so there was a hostile corporate takeover where the American corporation decided they want to go take over in Europe and they didn't want to be taken over. Well, it's too bad. They'd take over anyway. So they called it a hostile corporate takeover. We call it World War I. So the corporation called the United States was able to overthrow the existing corporate order in Europe, but it cost a lot of money. They had to build a lot of tanks and jeeps and pay a lot of people. And the corporation, well, they were successful. They did what they wanted to do. But they went broke doing it. And so when they went broke doing it, and then the bankers pulled their money out in 29, um, we had something called a stock market crash. Because they, they, the corporation spent so much money, they went broke. So the international banker says, well, if you're broke, what are you coming to me for? I'm not going to loan you money if, you, if you're broke. And so what do you have as collateral? You got any collateral uh, that you can put up uh, for me to loan you the money? And the corporation called United States, the British corporation called United States said, yes, we have the, the stock. We'll give you stock in the company. You are the stock in the corporation. So they give your body, your body to the banks in Switzerland. So your body now becomes stock for the corporation called United States because you are a money maker bankers came in and said if we're going to loan you money you guys have lost money you guys have gone bankrupt we're going to take care of the accounting we're going to see where the money goes we'll, we'll give you the money but we're going to make it sure it goes where we want it to go so they set up the federal reserve system and then the collection agency to make damn sure that you people pay us we're going to set up to keep a, a, a record of how much you owe us in business each week we're going to call that the federal reserve and to make sure that your stock all the chumps out there in america working make sure the stock pays us we're going to make sure they pay us you don't just tell me you're going to pay i'm going to make sure they're going to pay so we will set up a collection agency our own personal collection agency is called the internal revenue so the banks 
a corporation called United States loan money to the privately owned corporation called United States, and the United States corporation gave your body, your birth certificate, to the banks as collateral for the loan, and that's why today Americans are nothing but slaves. Now, this is something I want you to understand. And you need to listen carefully because this is profoundly important. Most people have never heard this, and I and and don't even understand what I'm trying to say. But try and follow what I'm going to tell you. There are two kinds of law on the earth, as I've said. One is called civil law, which is the law of the land, and one is called maritime admiralty, which is called the law of water. Maritime admiralty is banking law. And the law on the maritime admiralty says that you, because you came out of your mother's water, are a maritime admiralty product. This is why the ship is sitting in its berth and is tied to the dock, and the captain has to give a certificate of manifest to the port authorities because money is changing hands. This is why when you were born, you have to have a birth certificate. It's got to be signed by the dock. Because that's where the ship is tied to, is the dock. So the dock signs your birth certificate. Why? Because you came down out of your mother's water. You came down her birth canal. You are a maritime admiralty product, and therefore your birth certificate is signed by your mother. And where your mother signed on the birth certificate, get it? You will see. It does not say parent or mother. It says informant. Your mother was informing the bank that she has just produced another product to be bought and sold. England, the British Crown, through international banking, owns your physical body, and that's the law. So you can think it's funny all you want. So the bottom line is, is that you are a maritime admiralty product, and on the back of the social security card. Will be numbers in red. On the front will be in blue or black, but on the back will be in red. The numbers on the back of a social security card, in red, designate your body. It is the serial number of your stock. And this is why, if you're wealthy, you are you are preferred stock. If you're poor, you are common stock. But you are a stock on the stock market. Your body is bought and sold through the use of your birth certificate, and if you could get your original birth certificate back, you would find that on the back of the birth certificate are all the banks around the world. All over the world, banks have used your birth certificate because you are a stock in a maritime admiralty banking scheme where you make money for banks. So consequently, the corporation and government and people who want to control you, they create a second you, and that second you that they control, that they created, is all capital letters. Check it out. Anytime you get a bill, get a lawsuit, you get a fine, a ticket. Somebody sends you a bill from the Department of Water and Power. Check it out on your driver's license, on your Social Security card, on your insurance cards, anything. Anything having to do with business, your name will always be in all capital letters, because only all capital letters can be dealt with by banks and government. Anytime you have a name upper and lower case that that applies to you, I got no control over you. You sign a contract in which your name is in all capital letters. Now I can take you to court. Now I can take you. As a matter of fact, the judge sits on the bench. He rules from the bench. The word bench in Latin is a bank. Look it up in a Latin dictionary. So the judge rules from the bench, right? Because he's ruling for the bank. Why? Because somebody's got to pay. It's just a game here. The queen, the queen of England wants a cut of the American blood. She wants a piece. So it's going, you know, somebody's going to pay, and the money's going to go where? Into a bank. That's right. The judge rules for the bank. So consequently, if you are working in California making money. You are then referred to as a franchisee. You're a franchisee of a foreign corporation. 1849 Constitution of California says, "No California citizen will ever pay taxes in California state ever. There will ever there will never be a state tax in California ever." 
that's the Constitution of California. But if you say that you're a United States citizen, you're saying you are privately, you work for a privately owned corporation called United States. Therefore, you are a franchisee of a foreign corporation. Therefore, you must pay the California Franchise Tax Board, not California State Tax Board. There is no state uh, uh, tax in California. You pay the California Franchise Tax Board because you're a franchisee of a foreign corporation on the maritime banking law, international law. You work for the Queen of England. Your butt is owned by the Queen of England in a corporation called United States, while a man called Bush is the president of the British Corporation. You need to wake up and find out how this stuff really works. Because once you understand that you don't need to submit yourself as an American to a British commercial venture called courts. You're an American. You don't need to go to court. That's nobody. You only go to court because you agreed to go to court. When they send you a subpoena to court or summons to court, or they've sent you something, you look at it and say, hey, Jack, that's not me. That's an all capital letters. All capital letters is a corporation. It's a corpse. It's dead. Do I look like I'm dead to you? No, I'm an American, Jack. I ain't dead. And besides, I'll go to American system for justice. I don't need no British Grand Lodge Masonic system called courts. This British Grand Lodge Freemasonic system called Inns of Court comes out of England and it has manipulated, exploited, and lied to the people and everybody in America thinks they gotta go to court. Oh, the judge, is uh, they've sent me something that I've gotta go to court. I don't go to anybody's court. I'm an American. I don't need to go to court. That's the difference between being a free man and a slave.